Our next speaker is Mr. Shomitra Dostidar, a documentary filmmaker of note. Mr. Dostidar has to his credit numerous impactful documentaries such as Mushal Maner Kotha, Shimanto Akhen, and Gujarat. His socially relevant films are compelling narratives that tell the stories of the voiceless and faceless masses that are often left untold and therefore sadly unheard. Um, we welcome Mr. Shomitra Dostidar to deliver a speech here. Please welcome, sir. Yeah, Please mute your mics. Oh. 
Thank you very much. Ah, uh, really, I feel it's very easy to make documentary than uh, this kind of uh, uh, session. Uh, uh, with uh, your kind permission, uh, basically, uh, uh, already uh, you are very much aware that I'm a documentary filmmaker, and I must concentrate uh, on my paper uh, regarding Bengali Muslim, particularly in West Bengal, Bengali Muslim. Uh, oh. Community. Okay. Okay. Hello. 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 To be very, uh, to be very frank and honest, it would not have been possible for me to understand the reality, the real scenario, and. Situation of the Muslims of West Bengal. If I would not make documentary story of Muslim or Muslim kotha, 
because starting hello before starting work on this documentary i was not much aware of the scenario economic background and uh, uh, particular community in muslim uh, bengali muslim what is the situation of bengali muslim right now in west bengal look at some data in government service muslim got service only 1% journalist kolkata mein bhi nahi hai district mein bhi zyada nahi hai you go to any elite institution in kolkata you find very few muslim lecturer and professor so these are the situation and 80% muslim population getting uh, uh, getting income only 5000 per month so why what is the reason of backwardness of muslim community i believe that this is the cause of 40, 1947 indian partition the partition has totally smashed the backbone of the muslim community of bengal particularly definitely west bengal town and a district level the city and the middle class muslims left or forced to leave west bengal most of the poor muslims mainly farmers the small business owners on organized labor stayed here in west bengal it was definitely not possible for them to lead a mainstream life it was uh, it was uh, it was definitely not possible for them to live a mainstream life the state administration always kept harassing them no matter what of the was was with what with pakistan the muslims were the kept an easy suspect pakistani agent it took 30 40 years to overcome such situation muslims in west bengal tried to fight back and overcome this kind of situation after 70s they started realizing concentrating more on economy and as well as education system there are lot of mis mis conception in the minority of the people regarding the muslim community for example most of them believe particularly majority community believe the practice the muslim practicing multiply marriage talaq is quite common in muslim community basically the mainstream and oil well of the partition the bias and incorrect the country didn't only divide it because of religious classes economy was a major economy was a played a major role and uh, there was a lot of debate regarding the character of the nation muslims of bengal wanted to get rid of the situation without 
understand without understand the uh, uh, muslim community is not possible for one to know each other so condition of a community or a society uh, day by day definitely not will really increase thank you thank you very much thank you mr dostidar for your uh, informative speech